Hey guys, welcome back to the Dr. Cliff AUD vlog. This is vlog number 216, and today I wanna to give you guys another update on the clinic after our flood and how we're trying to recover from the flood. And I have a very special treat for you in this particular episode. But if you could do me a huge favor, make sure you click that like button to support the channel. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, go ahead and do that as well if you wanna see more of my vlog content. As you know, if you've been watching the past several vlogs that we've been doing or that I've been doing, um, you know that we had a flood approximately, what, like three weeks ago or so? And we're in the process of getting that all sorted out. Our place had flooded and I wanted to give you guys a look at what things are looking like. And uh, if you watched last week's vlog, you know that we're kind of in that process at the uh, right now and we're just about ready to start getting things fixed inside of the clinic location, meaning the drywall is gonna start getting repaired, we got cabinets ordered, we got flooring ordered, all of that stuff. Uh, we were able to secure an extension on the temporary lease of where we're currently at, which will be very helpful because there's a high probability that we will be back inside of the clinic uh, sooner rather than later. But the special treat that I have for you guys today is this. Um, I had, so I have a, a really good friend, Mason Walker, uh, who is the CEO of Audigy. Um, I have partnered with him and Audigy on the hearingloss.com project, uh, which I'm super excited about. It kind of like combines the efforts of what we're doing with Hearing Up uh, and hearingloss.com. And um, so he has a son named Preston, and Preston is an extremely talented, I would say, videographer. He's just a creative kid, uh, which I appreciate because me doing a lot of video stuff, like I can understand the amount of time and dedication that it, that it takes to get really good at doing stuff on video. And we were out to dinner the other night with a group of friends. Preston was there. Just to give you an idea, he's 12, almost 13 years old. And um, he was talking to me about like, shooting footage with drones and stuff and he has this the camera equipment that I don't even have that was really freaking cool and I'm like hey you know what you should do you should come out to my clinic and do some recording of the space to show everybody who watches my vlog just how bad everything is and, and how destroyed everything got um, from that. Now I know I've shown you some footage, but I really wanted him to kind of come in and show his creativity of uh, kind of showcasing the space. And my plan is, is to kind of show you the footage that he got and then have him come back out once things are all fixed up in about a month or so and reshoot it so we can kind of show you before and after footage of what the place looks like. And I'm hoping that it looks, of course, much better than what it does right now. So let me go ahead and roll this here for you and just kind of walk you through it. So he really started off with some nice drone shots coming in big on the building and then kind of flying in. You can see us actually standing outside with some staff, which is fun. And then um, you can see the front of the clinic right here. And that is, I believe, him walking. Yep, you can see him there in the reflection. He's walking into the space right here, really kind of showcasing the front area and looking back into the manager's office there. This is our waiting room, and you can see we had a bunch of drywall cut out there. The, the hearing loop is gone. It was pulled off of the flooring. You can see the space here. That's the sound booth room where all the walls have been cut out. The carpeting is still okay. Fortunately, that dried up really well. Uh, that's my office there and that is uh, the middle office right there. And you can see how you can just basically see from room to room with the cutouts there at the very bottom. This is that drone flying around inside of the space, which is pretty crazy. Bathrooms look a little rough there. Uh, oh, there's the, the drone that just zoomed by and here he comes down the hallway. The nice thing is it gives you a very smooth shot when you're doing drone footage in such a tight space like that. It takes some very, um, good navigating skills or piloting skills of that drone to make sure that you don't hit the walls or cause any more damage. So very nice job. You can kind of see just how destroyed everything is in there, but it takes me back to when we were first building out the space of what everything pretty much looked like. And uh, you know, it kind of breaks my heart a little bit, but we'll get it all built back up again. So I know that uh, things will eventually be better than what they are right now. But I thought that that was really good drone work inside of the clinic and i can promise you that it will be 10 times better once we actually have the space completely done 
So we literally just ordered cabinets the other day. Like I told you, they're gonna be a completely different color. So the look of the clinic will ultimately be different when we're done. The flooring had to be slightly different because neither one of the, the colors that we used for the floors or for the cabinets uh, were the same, not at least if we wanted to get them done uh, quickly. I did not wanna wait six more weeks to get us to be able to move back in the space. But let me give you a little bit of a timeline here of what's going to happen. So like I said, we're going to have the uh, drywall uh, process starting tomorrow, all right? And uh, as of when you're watching this, um, it's, it's probably already started, of course. So we've got the drywall going. Um, the insulation has to go in. We have double insulated walls because we've sound treated everything to where we don't want a lot of crossover or volume from one room going into the other room. We lucked out on the glass sliding doors. We do not have to get those replaced. Um, the other thing is, is that um, from the uh, flooring perspective, we don't know when we're gonna be able to get the flooring put back in. We don't, it depends on when the cabinets come. So if the cabinets come first, we'll get the cabinets in and then we'll do the flooring. If the flooring comes first, we'll do the flooring. And the other thing here is that we have to make sure that we get the, the hearing loop installed again. So if you have a telecoil inside of your hearing aids, we wanna be able to uh, essentially utilize that telecoil inside of the office. So when we're doing programming, we can validate that it sounds good inside of the clinic. But when they ripped out the flooring, the hearing loop went with it. So we have to get Otojoy back out to the space to put the loop back into the offices, uh, or rather the waiting room and then the three treatment rooms. Um, but once we get that in there, and it's all uh, it has to do with timing, right? Because you got to get that in before the flooring goes in, but you don't want to have it in too uh, soon because when they're doing all the cabinets and the drywall and the painting, they could mess it up. So it just comes down to a game of logistics at this point. And I'm so glad that we have Chuck on top of it. He's the one who did the general contracting for our space when we first got it built out and kind of saved the day with the clinic as we were building it out. And um, hopefully he gets everything done really smoothly. Like I mentioned, we were able to extend our lease on our temporary space by in another two weeks. Uh, so we essentially have another month extension that will take us to about what, the 11th of May or so. And given how quickly everything is getting done, we've got everything ordered on its way. Um, the repairs are actually starting to happen here. There is a, a good possibility, rather a probability that we will be back in in early May into the space with only you know a little less than two months being out of it. Uh, we just had a shipment of furniture arrive today. It came in on pallets. Um, I'll show you a picture of the pallets here, um, but that furniture needs to get reassembled. We actually hired a crew to move it inside because that actually weighs a lot. And uh, as strong as I am, I really don't feel like moving uh, a lot of stuff and potentially hurting my back when I do it. So I've gotten a little bit softer in my older age. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, the only reason I really didn't move it is because I have so many other things that I've got to get done. I just really don't have time to go over there uh, and spend a half a day or even a quarter of a day literally uh, taking all of that stuff out of the pallets, it weighs a ton, dragging it inside, disposing of the pallets, I just need them to do, out, do that all. And honestly, insurance should be covering it anyway, and uh, my time is much more valuable to me than just moving some stuff around and not even doing it well. I'll let the experts do that, they can get it done really, really quick, and then I can go on and do other things. Um, with that said though, uh, things are coming along and if I'm being honest, I just, I just wanna say thank you because you guys have been incredibly supportive throughout this entire process. Obviously this kind of upended things for us uh, pretty drastically when this all happened. But surprisingly, we've been able to recover pretty quickly. Even in our temporary space, it's not perfect. We've been able to um, kind of like see the patients that have needed to be seen. We, we haven't been able to, to essentially treat at the same level, uh, meaning we can't get the same quantity of people in because of the way that the clinic is set up at this point in time. But we will eventually here within the next couple of weeks be back in our clinic space. And then I'll have Preston back out to do some really nice drone footage of the space and kind of show you the before and after of what it looks like now and what it will ultimately look like once we get it back up to speed. So if you guys need someone to come and drone footage your area or some real estate that you got or whatever, let me know. I'd happy to set you up uh, with Preston. Uh, he is a very diligent and hard worker, shows up on time. Uh, the 
turnaround time, honestly, on his content that he shot for me is quicker than other professionals who've been, you know, in videography for years. So um, just kind of goes to show his his work ethic and dedication. Uh, like father, like son, like mother, like son. Both of his parents are are that type of people. Um, and fortunately so, it kind of, it rubbed off on Preston. So uh, yeah, if you need someone here in the greater Phoenix area, uh, let me know and I will get you his contact information. But that is all that I wanted to share uh, for today, guys. If you liked the video, again, give it a thumbs up and as always, I'll see you next week.